So, Director Brennan, you've briefed uh, multiple U.S. presidents uh, on intelligence and with the CIA. Uh, so I do want to move this conversation into a conversation on the presidents and how they handle intelligence. I mean, we've had a whirlwind uh, of controversy surrounding President Trump's uh, continued holding of uh, classified documents. And of course, to a lesser extent, there's been news about President Biden's and Vice President Pence's uh, recent turning over of classified documents in their homes and offices. Why and how do leaders of our executive branch, how do they keep taking documents home? Well, I, first of all, I'd make a, a, a very significant distinction between the inadvertent, um, accidental um, security lapses that have taken place. Uh, for example, when uh, classified documents were found at Vice President uh, Biden, former Vice President Biden, and now President Biden's residence, as well as former Vice President Pence's residence. Uh, um, these are individuals, whether it be presidents or vice presidents, they have 24-hour responsibilities. And a lot of times uh, they will take classified material with them to their home. Uh, because they have the arrangements at home, uh, the protection, the, the secure facilities, uh, the storage uh, that allows them to do that. Uh, and I think at the end of their tenure, sometimes with all of the different materials and documents that they have, uh, unfortunately, I think some of those classified materials got mixed in with some other things. But I'm glad to see that President Biden and Vice President Pence, as soon as they found some of these classified documents at the residence, they immediately took steps to return them, but also to ensure that there was going to be the appropriate investigation that was done. It's much different than what we see with uh, uh, Donald Trump and the Mar-a-Lago documents that were found and that he was trying to uh, keep, uh, believing he had the right to keep those documents when he didn't. They were highly sensitive, uh, highly classified documents. Uh, so uh, there are arrangements uh, for senior officials to be able to bring classified materials back to their residence. When I was director of CIA, I was able to bring classified documents back with me. I had you know, safe storage facilities. I had people at my residence 24-7. Uh, they were kept very, very secure. And when I finished uh, being director, all of those documents, materials were uh, provided back, sent back to the, the government. Uh, so I, I, there is a responsibility of these individuals uh, to make sure that there are going to be no lapses. Uh, and if there are lapses, I think it's the government's responsibility to see what additional steps they can take to prevent these occurrences in the future. Uh, and so I am, I am hopeful that there's been some learning experiences on the part of what should take place when a president or vice president leaves office and the need for a very, very thorough inspection of all of the materials, the boxes and documents that they might wanna take uh, to their homes after they leave office because clearly uh, the, this, the situation uh, at those times that, that when Vice President Biden and Vice President Pence left office, uh, it was not as thorough uh, as it needed to be.